Hey, Timmy, I accidentally broke my TV oh, by no. hitting it with a cricket bat. And I need a new one, but I can't afford it. Why don't you just save up for it, Tommy? I can't wait, Timmy. Everyone's coming over tonight. It's the rugby. Why don't you put it on lay-by, Tommy? Timmy, didn't I just tell you I need it by tonight? I can't wait a few weeks while I pay it off. No, not that lay-by. I mean lay-by. You know, the buy now, pay later service? What's buy now, pay later? Welcome guys to another video of Personal Finance New Zealand with your host Liam Lubberscuffney and as you saw in that little stupid skit that I just did, um, today we're talking about buy now pay later services um, and you know in recent years it's been taking over the you know payments world by storm. Uh, for example, a study by the MB Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment in New Zealand, um, they found out that 44% of people said that they had used buy now pay later services every two weeks and 83% have used buy now pay later in the last year but I want to cover a couple things that you might not have known about buy now pay later and some things you probably should know before using them so here we go number one about buy now pay later is not new so before the modern companies after pay lay by zip hum Genoa Pay and Klarna, which are the main ones here in New Zealand. Um, you know, you go to a store, buy a big appliance or some furniture or something over a period of several months, and you pay directly to the store, you know, a certain amount each month until you pay it off, usually as an interest-free period. But um, with these new companies, they're offering services where you can buy um, relatively cheap items you know under $50 per basket um, and you can actually pay that off over a couple of weeks rather than months this is sort of in contrast to how we used to do things before that which was like save now pay later so like you know save some money in your bank account until you can actually afford the thing that you're trying to buy and some stores actually allowed you to do this thing called lay by which I was referencing in the skit before where you could pay a fraction of the cost up front and then um, the store will hold the items for you until you've paid it off and then you can take it home whereas buy now pay later lets you take it home straight away so number two these companies actually make a majority of their money from charging businesses or merchants um, fees for accepting them as payments so this is in contrast to what a lot of people think is that these services are just predatory lenders that sort of try to get people to miss payments and have to pay late fees and um, again according to that same MB study for the years 2020 and 2021 around 68% up to 82% of all revenue was generated through fees charged to businesses so not um, uh, not late fees so for example Klarna charges merchants a 30 cents plus 2.99 percent of the original order price um, zip charges four and a half percent after pay charges 30 cents and either five percent for in-store purchases or 5.5 percent for online Okay, number three, prices may increase because of buy now, pay later. Now, the reason for this is, as I've said, um, buy now, pay later services make most of their money by charging merchants a particular fee. And you'll notice they're quite high in comparison if you know anything about what it costs to accept cash, debit, or credit cards. So cash and debit can, for argument's sake, be... Um, thought of as a cost of about 0.5% and for credit cards it's around 2 or 3% and that's you know all those credit re uh, credit card rewards points and all the perks that come with it that's how they actually pay for that um, whereas buy now pay later can be anything between like 4 and 7% because of this um, and because of the fact that buy now pay later services actually have in their terms and conditions 
for the merchants um, that they aren't allowed to um, apply a surcharge when people use their services to pay, which means merchants may end up actually raising all their prices just to cover the costs of in the case where a customer pays with buy now pay later. Number four, beware of the fees nonetheless. So even though these services offer interest-free payments, they do have late fees. Um, and you know, even though most of the money is made from merchant fees, these late fees do account for some of their revenue. And um, uh, even though there's no interest, it can represent a very high interest rate if you convert it to an interest rate. So I'll have up on screen an example where if you made a hundred dollar purchase and you had one ten dollar late fee that actually amounts to a 90 percent interest rate because of how short that time period is um, and if you don't think this can happen to you according to that same mb report one in five people have actually missed a buy now pay later service um, uh, payment so they would be charged late fees as a result number five it tricks your brain into thinking that things are cheaper than they really are. And you probably already know this. If you've got something that's costing you $200, but they say that you can buy this item for only $50 now and $50 every two weeks coming, uh, you know, for the next six weeks, that is automatically going to seem a lot cheaper to you and to your brain than having to pay it in full. Number six. Some of these services actually offer digital cards, so it's like a digital MasterCard or a digital Visa card that you can add to your Google Pay wallet or your Apple wallet. And this allows you to make in-store purchases anywhere they have contactless payment, basically. For Klarna specifically, they have a really cool feature where you can do um, something called a one-time card, which means that you generate this one-time card in the Kleiner app and it actually gives you a credit card number, expiration date, CVV, everything that you would do or input normally if you were to make an online purchase with your debit or credit card, which basically means that Kleiner is much more universally available than some of these other services that um, need explicit support by each particular um, merchant that's trying to use it. Right, number seven. Some services don't actually affect your credit score. So, um, after a lot of research, I found out that Afterpay and Klarna um, basically promise not to report any late fees. Now, there's a big caveat to that, and that's when, um, if your payments get put into or sent out to collection agencies, then basically Klarna and Afterpay have no way of controlling what they do with that um, that process. So collection agencies may still report those things to um, credit bureaus, which means they'll end up on your credit report. But just in general, across all these pay, buy now, pay letter services, it seems to me that um, it's easier to get approved for purchases and it seems less likely that they will report um, late payments compared to something like a credit card. For example, I was able to sign up for Afterpay and Klarna with no issues, um, and I was I know, got like a $600 credit limit with um, Afterpay, and I have like zero credit score. I have nothing on my report. Okay, so in conclusion, Buy Now Pay Later services are revolutionizing the way that we pay for things. Um, I think for the most part, we can do without them. Um, if you have the money to pay for something, um, just pay for it right away in cash. Um, otherwise, if you can wait, save now, pay later. Um, if you really can't wait, that's what an emergency fund should be for, is for those emergency um, things where it's a big, big cost that you have to pay right now. Um, but there may be certain circumstances where maybe you don't have that set up or for whatever reason you just don't want to spend so much money all at once and you want to spread it out over some over a period of time and maybe that's a great um, a great time to do that um, time to use it but 
in all these sort of um, situations, um, it's really important to be responsible and make sure you um, make all your repayments. Um, so overall, I think if you had to choose, Klarna and Afterpay are the best services out there in New Zealand at the moment. Klarna, um, they offer the one-time card as I've mentioned, so it's pretty much universally accepted where credit cards are accepted. Um, they offer some of the lowest merchant fees of like 2.99% plus 30 cents. Um, they have really good phone and online chat support compared to some of the other ones that I've tried. Um, and they have actually the lowest late fees of any of the other services. So they only charge like $3 per missed installment. So that's like a maximum of $9 per purchase that you could possibly pay in late fees um, and they also promise not to uh, report any missed payments um, so that sort of protects your credit score so yeah thanks so much for watching i hope you've learned a lot i hope you enjoyed the skit at the beginning and um, let me know how many of those you knew already um, and if there's anything i missed